So to start with, the page that you're looking at now, this is where my ad script is going to point people. So people are gonna see this ad on YouTube and it's gonna advertise this. I'm not advertising the product directly. I'm advertising a document, a free document called a lead magnet. It's something that you give people for free. It's kind of a free sample. Like you give them a free sample in return for their contact information. Now you have their contact information and you can reach out to them whenever you want. You can send them emails and then they also, by consuming the free sample, so to speak, they get a taste of what your product is like. And so if you have an expertise related business where they have to trust you, it requires a high level of trust, then having a lead magnet is really, really good because you can demonstrate your knowledge, you demonstrate your expertise and you can build trust in the person. So the idea is for the person to read the thing or to watch the thing, whatever your free lead magnet is, and then think, wow, this person really knows his stuff. I should hire him for whatever his paid service is, or I should buy his products, whatever it is. So what I'm offering here is a simple three-step SOP to convert any profitable ad into an even better performing YouTube ad in less than a day. And that's a bit of a mouthful, but what it is is I'm targeting business owners that are already running ads on Facebook or Twitter or LinkedIn or some other platform. And my pitch is that you should be advertising on YouTube because YouTube ads are better for a variety of reasons. And so what I'm gonna say is, I wanna convince them first of all that YouTube ads are the way to go or at least get them curious about it. And then I'll say, I've got this document that will show you for free how to convert your best performing ad on whatever advertising platform you're already using to YouTube ads. So that's, that's the background of this. And then I'm going to bring up my Word document here. And, and I couldn't help myself. I already wrote one, but I'm going to, here, I'll, I'll scroll down so you can't see that one. <laughs> and I'm going to write another one completely from scratch. So my target market here are business owners who are already running ads, but they're not running ads on YouTube. And I chose that target market very strategically because somebody who is already running ads and running ads successfully on another platform is already a somewhat established business owner. They're, they've already had some level of success. They're fairly sophisticated already. And they, they're making money already, which means that they're probably, a, probably an easy sell into my service. And I can get them easy results too. It, and if you don't know what my service is, I help companies with YouTube ads. So if they have an ad that's already working on another platform, it makes, it makes it easier for me because I already have something that's proven that's already selling. And then I can fairly easily transfer that over to YouTube ads, which is a little different than somebody who let's say is just starting out in business and hasn't been selling anything yet, doesn't have any ads that are already working. So I'm, I'm specifically focused on the people that are going to be the easiest to target for my business. So let's see, the first thing I wanna start with is I wanna choose a benefit. So actually in my ad that I created first, I focus specifically on profit margin and return on ad spend, which is basically you pay less money per customer with YouTube ads than you are with whatever platform that you're already on. That's the idea here. And there's various other benefits to YouTube ads. So I'm thinking for ad two, I'm going to focus on some other benefit. So other benefits are that you get a wider reach. Another benefit is the omnipresence effect, which means that when people see you on multiple platforms, it makes you it kind of builds you up as a celebrity in their heads that they see you all over the place. 
And then another one is, is for safety reasons. Let's say that you have a business that's running on Facebook ads and the business is running well, but all of your customers are coming from Facebook ads. Well, what happens if Facebook decides to change the rules about who's allowed to advertise? or they, they decide to randomly shut down your account, which actually happens a lot. Well, in that case, and, and I think most business owners are aware that that happens. So that's another reason why, even if you're totally happy with your Facebook ads, you might want to advertise on another platform as well, just so that if something changes, if something bad happens, it doesn't completely destroy the business. So I think, I'm trying to think which, like, which of those, it, how, how about I get a vote, actually. If you think the first one, the omnipresence, you're, you, people see you everywhere, you're like a celebrity. If you think that's the more compelling benefit, give me a one in the chat. And then if it's the second one, it's diversifying so that if something bad happens with your other ad account, then your, your business isn't out of luck. If you think that's more compelling, give me a two in the chat. Okay, so I'm going to go with, I, it's a tie as far as I can tell. So I'm going to go with, let me go with two. I'll go with two. Okay. So you're getting leads. Uh, okay. Maybe you say, if you're, does your entire business rely on one ad platform? If so, you're putting yourself at a huge risk. Let's see. And maybe I condense that actually. So let's say if your entire business relies on one at platform, you're putting yourself at a huge risk, especially that ad platform has a reputation for randomly shutting down people's ad accounts. And maybe we say instead of ad platform, no, I'm going to leave ad platform. If your entire business relies on one ad platform, you're putting yourself at huge risk, especially if that ad platform has a reputation for randomly shutting down people's ads accounts. But the good news is that if you have ads that are profitable on one platform, it's Fairly, let's say it's pretty straight, straight forward to get ads working on another platform because you've already hit on an offer and messaging that resonates with your target market. And 
Now, in my humble opinion, the best platform to advertise on, or let's say the best ad platform right now by far is YouTube. Not only because they, they aren't as, uh, let's say, it, not only because their compliance isn't as difficult as some other platforms, such as one that starts that I won't name, but it starts with F and ends with Acebook. <laughs> but okay, let's let's just let's just say it starts with F and ends with Acebook. But also, YouTube ads get insanely high return on ad spend because of their targeting abilities. YouTube is part of the Google ecosystem, and Google knows just about, well, let's say Google knows what, Google knows people's intent. That is, they know what everybody is looking for all the time. So whereas with Facebook or LinkedIn or other platforms like that, you can target people based on demographics and general interests, but with YouTube, you can target exactly the people who are already looking for exactly what you have to offer right now. And I like to capitalize words that I'm going to emphasize when I speak them. And notice, by the way, that I speak these, I speak the words as I write them. That's for a purpose, because this is an ad script. This is going to be spoken. I want it to come off as natural. And so I speak as I write. And I do this, I even do this with emails and, and things that are not meant to be spoken because it's just easier to read if it seems like if it if you read it in your head you kind of speak it in your head it's it it's easier and people read it for longer if it sounds good spoken so with youtube you can target people already looking for exactly what you have to offer right now. And maybe I just stack some more benefits. Um, so you don't waste your ad spend on people who kind of look like your ideal client, but aren't in the market now. Okay, so now I've explained the opportunity. 
Now I think I want to, well, let me think about this. I could stack other benefits because there's more benefits to YouTube than just that. Or I could go directly into, I have this document that you should download. So let me see what I want to do here. In the I put marketing. Oops. I'm pushing the wrong buttons. Kind of look like I do. Hmm. So let's say, so if you don't want to be at the mercy of one company that could shut you down at any time. And you want to diversify in a way that, that let's say, will likely get you even better ROAS, that's acronym return on ad spend, than you were getting, or than you're already getting. Getting. I can show you, I want to say, I want to want to show you how to recreate your, I just realized I have this super small. I don't know if anybody can even see this. Let me, let me make that bigger. Sorry about that. Should have let me know in the comments. I would have increased the size there. Okay. What are you getting? So I want to show you how to recreate your best performing ads as YouTube ads. And then one piece of feedback I've heard is that people tend to assume that it's going to be difficult. It's going to be a lot of work to convert their Facebook ad or whatever into a YouTube ad. So I want to emphasize that actually it's not going to be that much work. It's, oh, and instead I, I did not mention it back here. Okay. It's actually, Pretty easy since you've now I'm I'm kind of just repeating that. Never mind. I'm not gonna do that. Okay, so if you don't want to be at the mercy of one company that could shut you down at any time, and you want to diversify in a way that will likely get you even better ROAS than you're already getting, I want to show you how to recreate your best performing ads as YouTube ads. I have a, let's say, I have an SOP document that details the steps that I use to convert an ad from another platform into an even better performing ad on YouTube. I want to give you my SOP for free. And 
you know the drill. <clears throat> I give, I give away something super valuable for free and a certain percentage of people want to hire me to install my full YouTube ads. Let's say my, my YouTube ads system into their business. directly, let's say. So I'm giving a reason for why I'm giving this for free. Like it's not just charity. It's not just, I'm being super generous. It's for this reason, which is the actual reason. So you know the drill. I give away something super valuable for free. Maybe just give away something super valuable for free. And a certain percentage of people will want to hire me to install my YouTube ad system into their business directly. but obviously no obligation either way. I hope you get value from it, even if we never now let's say just regardless. I hope you get value from it regardless if you like to get my SOP, then click the button that's somewhere around this video, sign up the next page, and I'll send it to you right away. You'll also give you a real live demo of me converting one of my best performing Facebook ads into a YouTube ad. So you can see it in action. This is no fluff. I'm going to show you. Let's say I'm going to give you my exact process. I've generated over 35,000 leads for myself and my clients just using YouTube ads. And I've got this boiled down to a science. If you know anything about YouTube ads, you know that you may never see this again. So if you're interested, now is your chance click the button, sign up on the next page and start generating sales from YouTube. I say start bringing in instead of generating. Okay.
Beautiful. Okay, so I'm going to read over this and I might give you a little bit more detail about what I'm doing. I also like to read over it just to see, just to see if it all flows together. Cause you saw I'm a little disjointed here. Like I'd write a couple of sentences and then I talk about something else or I get distracted by something and then I come back to it. So sometimes I, it doesn't flow exactly because of that. And so I like to read it all as one unit and then ideally actually read it all as one unit and then go to the landing page. Okay, so if your entire business relies on one ad platform, you're putting yourself at a huge risk, especially if that ad platform has a reputation for randomly shutting down people's ad accounts. But the good news is that if you have ads that are profitable on one platform, it's pretty straightforward to get ads working on another platform because you've already hit on an offer and messaging that resonates with your target market. Now, in my humble opinion, the best ad platform right now by far is YouTube not only because their compliance isn't as difficult as some other platforms, such as one that I won't name, but let's just say it, let's just say it starts with an F and ends with an ace book, but also YouTube ads get insanely high return on ad spend because of their targeting abilities. YouTube is part of the Google ecosystem and Google knows people's intent. That is, they know what everybody is looking for all the time. So whereas with Facebook or LinkedIn or other platforms like that, you can target people based on demographics and general interests. But with YouTube, you can target exactly the people who are already looking for exactly what you have to offer right now. So you don't waste your ad spend on people who kind of look like your ideal client, but aren't in the market now. So if you don't want to be at the mercy of one company that could shut you down at any time, and you want to diversify in a way that will likely get you even better ROAS than you're already getting, I want to show you how to recreate your best performing ads as YouTube ads. I have an SOP document that details the steps that I use to convert an ad from another platform into an even better performing ad on YouTube. And I want to give you my SOP for free. You know the drill, give away something super valuable for free and a certain percentage of people will want to hire me to so we'll want to hire me to install my YouTube ad system into their businesses directly. And I want to give you my SOP for free. You know the drill. Give away something super valuable. Let's just say valuable. Give away something valuable for free and a certain percentage of people will want to hire me to install my YouTube ad system into their business directly. But obviously, no obligation either way. I hope you get value from it regardless. If you'd like to get my SOP, then click the button that's somewhere around this video, sign up on the next page, and I'll send it to you right away. I'll also give you a real live demo of me converting one of my best performing Facebook ads into a YouTube ad so you can see it in action. This is no fluff. I'm going to give you my exact process. I've generated over 35,000 leads for myself and my clients just using YouTube ads. <clears throat> Let's say using YouTube ads alone. I've generated over 35,000 leads for myself and my clients using YouTube ads alone, and I've got this boiled down to a science. If you know anything about YouTube ads, you know that you may never see this again. So if you're interested, now is your chance. Click the button, sign up on the next page, and start bringing in sales from YouTube. Okay, and then I'm going to look at my page, and it says, swipe my simple three-step SOP to convert any profitable ad into an even better performing YouTube ad in less than a day get higher row as expand your reach and diversify your traffic sources. Okay. So this, the wording in this is a little bit different and I might actually change this slightly, but overall, I think that's pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. And if anybody has opinions or suggestions, I'm more than happy to hear them. I don't pretend to know everything about everything on this and and you never do in marketing. I mean, really the final judge is the market. Like do the people that I am marketing to, do they respond to this? And I, I can never predict that a hundred percent with experience. I've gotten a lot better at predicting it than I used to be, but it's never a hundred percent. And I don't think it ever will be a hundred percent. So, okay. So let me, let me explain to you guys just, in a little bit more detail, what everything is, what I'm doing here, like why, what every part of this ad is doing, because I, I didn't really explain a whole lot of it. So 
if your entire business relies on one ad platform, you're putting yourself at a huge risk. Okay, so I'm basically starting with fear. I'm starting with a, a fear-based intro. It's like, hey, you're in danger, which it kind of sounds bad when you say that, but it's really not. I mean, it's like if somebody, you know, somebody left the stove on and in their house and then they, they started to leave and you saw them like you saw them getting in the car and you know they left the stove on you'd say hey hey danger your stove is on right it's doing the person a favor but it gets the person's like danger is something that immediately alerts somebody so that's kind of what i'm doing here and this is totally true by the way i mean i know people that have gotten that have been reliant on Facebook ads and then Facebook just one day randomly decides to shut down their ad account, which is insane. I don't know why they would ever do that, but they do. So that's the hook. This is, and this is kind of the most important part in a way because most people, when they're watching YouTube ads, they're gonna skip the ad as soon as possible. If you think about the situation that somebody's in when they start watching a YouTube ad, well, probably they clicked on a video that they actually wanted to watch and they did not want to watch your ad video, right? And so in order to get them, in order to switch their attention from the thing that they were going to watch to your thing, you have to have something that's, that's really compelling to them in some way. And so one of the ways that you can do that is by, hey, here's the risk that you're at. And then if you look at my other ad script, I said ad costs taking a big bite out of your profit margin. So this is more of a pain. This is something that like a problem that they have. And if it's the same idea, like if it applies to the person, then they're probably going to listen. And then I'm also I'm qualifying here, too. Right. So when I say qualifying, I mean, I want to appeal to a certain type of person and I'm and I don't want to appeal to anybody else. And so if your entire business. Right. So that's a business owner relies on one ad platform. So I'm talking to specifically business owners whose business relies on one ad platform. especially if that ad platform has a reputation for randomly shutting down people's ad accounts. So everybody, like everybody who's advertising on Facebook knows this or has been for a while. Like they know that they do this. And so I'm, I'm supporting my position. It's like, I'm not just fear mongering. This is a real thing. I'm not just making this up. But the good news is that if you have ads that are profitable on one platform, it's pretty straightforward to get ads working on another platform. Okay, so here, pretty straightforward. That's a, a fancy way of saying that it's easy. People want what's easy. People do not want what's hard. And so if people think that what you're saying is hard, even if they believe it's effective. I mean, if you think about like the classic example is if somebody wants to lose weight, they could diet and they could go to the gym and they could exercise or they could get liposuction. Which of those is more, is more appealing to most people? It's the second one, the liposuction, right? Because it's quick and it's easy and they don't really have to put in very much effort at all. And so people spend a lot of money on those things in large part because it's easy. But on the other hand, nobody really doubts that diet and exercise would work. Like everybody knows that it, it would work. It's just difficult. So I, wanted, I want to show that, hey, there's this big benefit or in this case, avoiding this big cost. And it's pretty easy. It's not going to take a whole lot of your effort. That's the idea. Now, in my humble opinion, the best ad platform right now by far is YouTube. OK, so now I'm switching from, hey, you should you should be on multiple platforms Two, the next platform you should get on is YouTube. Because otherwise, if I just left it at this, then they could say, oh, well, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go advertise on LinkedIn. I'm gonna go advertise on Twitter or whatever, assuming they're already on Facebook, let's say. 
not only because their compliance isn't as difficult as some other platforms, such as one that I won't name, but let's just say it starts with F and ends with Facebook. So I'm being trying to be funny here, and I'm calling out Facebook specifically. And I'm not sure, actually. I don't know. I, Facebook is the big one. Like, that's the one that I'm really targeting. I, I want to leave it kind of broad just in case there's people that are advertising on other sites. But I'm, I really have Facebook in mind with this ad. But also, YouTube ads get insanely high return on ad spend because of their targeting abilities. Okay, so I'm supporting my claim that the best platform, the, the best next platform for you to advertise on is YouTube rather than LinkedIn or whatever. YouTube is part of the Google ecosystem and Google knows people's intent. That is, they know what everybody is looking for all the time. So whereas with Facebook or LinkedIn or other platforms like that, you can target people based on demographics and general interest. So more like I'm, I'm, giving logical justification for my claim that YouTube is better than all of these other platforms. But with YouTube, you can target exactly the people who are already looking for exactly what you have to offer right now. It's very compelling, right? Because you can, you got to reach the right person at the right time. The right person at the right, at the wrong time will not buy. So you don't waste your ad spend on people who kind of look like your ideal client, but aren't in the market now. So if you don't, and, and I'm, I'm kind of turning this around here, right? I put waste your ad spend. So it's kind of wasting your ad spend is, is a bit of a pain point for people that are spending a lot of money on ads. It's like, if I'm spending money on this, I want to be spending money on the people that are actually going to listen. I don't want to be spending money on people that are just going to waste my, my ad budget. So if you don't want to be at the mercy of one company that could shut you down at any time, and you want to diversify in a way that will likely get you even better ROAS than you're already getting, I want to show you how to recreate your best performing ads as YouTube ads. Okay, so I'm just, I'm going over both of the benefits that I went over earlier. I'm just kind of summarizing and then I want to show you how to do it. So I'm transitioning now into here's my document. I have an SOP document that details the steps that I use. I'm going to say the exact steps that I use to convert an ad from another platform. Let's say any other platform. trying to cast my net a little wider here. I have an SOP document that details the exact steps that I use to convert an ad from any other platform into an even better performing ad on YouTube. And I want to give you my SOP for free. So I've presented, here's the thing that I'm offering for free. And then I'm giving a justification for why I'm giving it for free. You know the drill, give away something valuable for free and a certain percentage of people will want to hire me to install my YouTube ad system into their business directly. So I'm, I'm doing this partly to explain, but partly to kind of seed this in the future. I, I wanna make them aware that if you wanna hire me directly, you can do that. Because there's gonna be some percentage of people that are watching this ad most likely that see, okay, I can get a free document, but I really don't want to do it myself. I'd rather just hire somebody. So I'm in this sentence, I'm making them aware that I'm available for hire if they so choose, or I might be available to hire depending on you know what time it is. Um, but I want, basically I want the people that don't want to do it themselves. They just want to hire out those are really my best customers. So I would like to, I would like to, um, to get, to get their interest too, because if it's just a document or if it's just a training, then a lot of people will shut down. They'll like, Oh, I don't want that. It's just too much work. 
but obviously no obligation either way. I hope you get value from it regardless. So this is saying that I'm, I'm kind of, this is the, if you've heard the term push pull, it's like you pull people towards you and then you push them away. You don't want to be too, you don't want to be needy. You don't want to be like, you have to be my client. You have to hire me. That's, that's really repulsive. And so you want to, you want to play it very cool. It's like, Hey, if you want to hire me, great. If you don't, that's great too. And I wish you the best. Like that's my attitude here because that's much, much more attractive than somebody who's going to be like a pushy, high pressure salesman, which everybody hates that. And it myself included. So I, I try to be the opposite of that as much as I can. If you'd like to get my SOP, then click the button that's somewhere around this video, sign up on the next page and I'll send you it to you right away. So I'm giving very specific instructions of what to do next. I'll also give you a real live demo of me converting one of my best performing Facebook ads into a YouTube ad so that you can see it in action. So this is a, a video that I'm giving in addition to the document, which helps them to understand the document, helps them to get value from it. So I'm mentioning that as well. It's just to build the value of what I'm offering here. I'll also give you a real live demo of me. Oh, I just said that, didn't I? This is no fluff. I'm going to give you my exact process. I've generated over 35,000 leads for myself and my clients using YouTube ads alone. And I've got this boiled down to a science. So this is, I'm not going to waste your time basically, because there's a lot of those free things out there that really are not valuable. And so I want to convince them that, no, this is the real value here. I'm not just going to, it's not just going to be a glorified sales pitch. And then this is just a bit of credibility for myself. I've generated over 35,000 leads for myself and my clients. The fact that I mention my clients is another hint that, hey, if you want to work with me directly, that is an option. And then, and I've got this boiled down to a science, makes it sound predictable. Like I, it's a science, so... You know, it's like a formula. You just, you just put in a number here and you can predict what the result is. Now that's not, I mean, this is a bit of an exaggeration. Nothing in marketing is hundred percent science, but with experience, you, you get pretty close. If you know anything about YouTube ads, you know that you may never see this again. So if you're interested now is your chance. So this is, I put this line in like every YouTube ad I ever do. <laughs> because it's urgency. A lot of people will see something and think, well, that's, that's interesting. I'll, I'll think about it later. I'll, I'll do it. I'll do it next week. I'll do it tomorrow. Right. And so, and then of course, tomorrow comes or next week comes and they, they've completely forgotten about it and their mind is on something else. Right. So you got to get people to take action now because if they don't take action now, chances are they're never going to. So that's why, why I give them a reason why they have to do it now. And I'm not giving them a fake reason. I'm not giving them some, a lot of marketers do this. You probably see this all the time. It's like, well, we, we only have a few copies left of this ebook. So grab yours now, or this exclusive offer will be gone soon. And it, you know, that, that exclusive offer has been available to everybody for like five years. <laughs> But they say that they're trying to give this sense of urgency to get people to take action now, but they're not really being honest. And so people have abused that so much that I don't think anybody really believes it anymore, especially seasoned business owners. So if you want somebody to believe you with urgency, you got to give them a real reason. So this with YouTube ads, the reason is right there is that, yeah, this, the YouTube ad algorithm decided to show you this ad video now, but it may never show it to you again. That's how it works. And I think everybody kind of knows that that's true. So it's a very good justification for why the person should take action now. Then finally, click the button, sign up on the next page and start bringing in sales from YouTube. So just another call to action, specifically what to do to tie it all out. So that's it. That is my whole ad script creation process. The next part is going to be to turn this into a video 
and then turn the video into a YouTube ad campaign. Excuse me. So I don't think I'm going to wait until next week. I want to, I want to get this up and running fast, but I hope this was helpful. And I, hopefully you can see how having this skill of just writing the right words on a page, how extremely valuable this is and how powerful it can be if you have your own business to drive customers into your own business, or if you do it for clients like I do, and you, you probably notice that I'm doing this for myself, but I also do it for my clients. So it's, it's kind of a cool business because my business in my marketing are kind of the same thing. I do the marketing for myself and then I do the same marketing that I'm doing for myself. I do for my clients. So that's it. Thanks for watching guys. Glad to have you. And I will see you in the same time, same place next week.